Hey, and welcome back to the channel. I'm trying something a little different today. Um, I'm sure many of you have already seen uh, these types of puzzles. This one's called Wordle. Uh, I'm thinking about kind of getting into doing some Wordle, some Dordle, maybe some Cordle, and some of the other dolls, as they call them. But we're going to give this one a go and see how it, uh, it works out. And if you guys enjoy it, I will keep doing this. So uh, this is the Wordle for May 23rd, 2024. So let's give this one a go. Uh, and if you don't know the rules of Wordle, I'm sure you do, but there's a, you have a five letter word that you need to try to guess. Every word that you guess, uh, they'll show what the digits uh, or what the letters will have some sort of color to them to give you a clue as to what is correct and incorrect. If they are gray, that means that uh, letter does not exist in the word of the day. If they're yellow, it means it appears in the word, but not in the position that you've put it in. And if it's green, it means it appears in the word and it's in the correct position. So those are the rules for Wordle. So let's get started. Now, typically when I do a Wordle, I like to start with usually a two, let, two word start, or I'll just do the first word and then see where that goes and take it from there. But my, my typical start is always crane. And that worked wonderfully. So we will move right into my second, which is pious. And I do this because it uses this two word uh, beginning uh, uses every single vowel. So we can get those all out of the way, except for Y, obviously. But so anyway, we are two. We have an I and an S, and that's pretty much all we have. The fact that the S is not at the end is interesting so what is the best way of organizing these letters into some useful word or at this point since i don't have a ton i might want to try something else like an f l i would be nice um, i'm not sure what i can use that with and also check to see where the s is um, okay, backspace. So I have to get used to the controls on this. I don't usually do it on the uh, on the computer. I usually have an an app or something. Anyway, so what would be a good word to put in here? I wouldn't mind doing flash. I know the A is not there, but this does get a new location for the S, and it checks out three fairly reasonable. Uh, letters okay so i got the sh that's a good location for the s there so i would have to think it's going to be something something ish and we've got a double consonant in the beginning so what could it be now it's, it could still be a double s in this like swish would work now do i want to guess a double s and do i want to guess a w which is not as common of a letter as some of the other ones. It's not bad. What else could it possibly be? Um, assuming it is ISH, it doesn't necessarily have to be ISH, but it, that would be the most logical thing to use. Um, what, I don't see another two syllable start that looks all that good here. No. Yeah, I think Swish is actually a pretty good guess. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Hey, look at that. It was correct. So, hey, did it in four. Not bad for the first time. I do not want to create a free uh, account. Thank you very much. And thank you. Okay, so back to this. So not bad. Uh, get this back up here. So easy enough on that one. Took me four tries, like I said. Uh, got kind of lucky with it being in the SH working out and then that I there. So anyway, uh, let me know how you guys did on this one. Uh, I'm going to try to, like I said, try to do these, uh, maybe not every day, but somewhat often just to kind of mix something new in there. So let me know if you want me to continue doing that. Uh, and I will certainly do so. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys on the next one. Bye.